Ever wonder how your favorite food influencers make their dishes look so effortlessly stunning? I'm Lauren McAnally, food stylist with Better Homes and Gardens, and today I'm sharing my styling secrets and photo taking tips that will make your Instagram pop. Photo ready. Creamy creme fraiche, sweet carrots, butternut squash, toasted pepitas, and fresh tarragon. Can you guess what I'm making? Tis the season for this wonderful low-fat option for your family and friends, and I'm going to show you how to get the ultimate photo that everyone will love. Today we're going to go over how to elevate the visual appeal of this very simple soup and how to get the best lighting for that photo. Let's get rolling. This butternut squash and carrot soup is so simple. We've chopped the carrots, butternut squash, leek, sauteed it in a very little bit of butter, added chicken broth, brought it to a simmer and let it cook till everything is nice and tender. And now we're gonna throw it into our food processor. Now I'm gonna bring this back to the stove top to warm up so that we can enjoy it. And I'm gonna go pick out a bowl to put it in. I've warmed my soup back up and added a little bit of half and half to give it an even richer flavor and velvety texture. And I've selected my two bowls. Okay. So nothing's wrong necessarily with this purple bowl that I've selected, but it does have a very vibrant color and we've made a very vibrantly colored soup here, this beautiful orange. And if you kind of compare the two, it fights a little bit with that color palette, whereas this gray bowl complements it. This one I just kind of plopped it in and it doesn't have the best texture on top, but this one as I finished I kind of swirled and this soup has a lovely texture to it so it holds any sort of shape I give it as I'm ladling in. We're topping this off with some creme fraiche. I have a little plastic bag here and I'm gonna just snip the tip off. All right, here we go. A little zigzaggy at the top, but it's kind of fun. Next up, I have tarragon, and I've kind of just torn it lightly. If you don't like tarragon, uh, green onions would work, parsley, fresh thyme. Just gonna scatter these. Finally, I have my pepitas. So once again, I'm gonna scatter them a little bit off to the side, not perfectly centered but kind of give them some movement. All right, this bowl is ready to be served or take a photo of. So I'm gonna set it to the side and show you another option if you don't wanna mess with piping the creme fraiche. All right, so we just dolloped that on top. I'm actually gonna pull my spoon through it and swirl it around a little bit. So it looks a little less fussy, but kind of fun. It's a little tie-dyed looking. And then I'm gonna go ahead and top it with my herbs. All right, option two. I went ahead and topped our purple bowl of soup, just dolloping the creme fraiche on top. I finally chopped our tarragon. The pepitas I just kind of piled all on top, which ends up weighing down our creme fraiche and you don't really see it. All in all, it's not bad, it's just a little boring. So we're gonna set this one aside and I'll set up for our photo of the others. So I'm gonna add a linen to our photo. Kind of gives you a sense of environment. I made a third bowl of soup too. Feel like it adds to the environment and gives you a little more to look at versus just two bowls. I also am continuing to keep my board of tarragon and pepitas in and I'll bring my creme fraiche in. So we're really giving everything a sense of place. All right, I think we are set to take the photo. If you're lucky enough to be in a space with natural lighting, go ahead and set up in that environment because it's the best that you can work with. But sometimes you find yourself in a dark kitchen or a dark restaurant and you really wanna capture what you're eating. The worst thing you can do is use the flash on your phone. It just creates a very 
harsh lighting that you're not gonna want. So go ahead, ask a friend to help you out and have them turn the flashlight on their phone to give you some great lighting. And you can play around and have them move their phone in different directions to create that environment and some great shadows and make sure you highlight what you're trying to capture. Today we went over how to elevate a simple but delicious soup by adding chopped fresh herbs and pepitas and swirling in some creme fraiche. Not only that, but we talked about how to capture it with your phone for that photo that you want to share with all your friends and family. If you're enjoying all of these tips and tricks, subscribe and turn on those notifications so you don't miss a single one.